West Windsor, New Jersey. Woo! She has been part of Mark Conference since it started four years ago. Her hobbies include designing spreadsheets and sleeping. Let's give it up for Angelina Powell. My name is inspired by the Sanskrit word Anjali, meaning offering. For years, I believed that my name was my destiny and my purpose in life was to give anything and everything I have to anyone that needed it. I existed as an offering to the world. So from day one, I've been running. Running from my fears, running towards distant goals, and most visibly, running myself into the ground. Nothing was ever good enough because I wanted to be perfect so that I could change the world. And what better way to change the world as a fifth grader than student council, right? I lost seven elections before finally being appointed, but once I was there, I rocked it. I was known for being a fixer, someone that could take any daunting task and make it happen, make anything work. And it became such a crucial part of my identity and something that people really valued in me that they established a scholarship in my honor, commending me for this hard work. This is who I was, this is who I am. Fast forward, to high, or fast forward to college, and I expected that the higher stakes would result in bigger sacrifices. But being the type A workaholic that I am, I never knew which sacrifices were too much. It started with taking a friend home safely. It culminated into the unthinkable. One night, I was sexually assaulted. Twice. Once by the stereotypical stranger in the dark alley, and then by the person I turned to for help. I would have wished that kind of pain upon anyone. This was clearly the worst thing that had ever happened to me, but I'm a fixer. I thought I could handle it. I figured if I pretended that I, it just didn't happen, that the problem would just go away. The assailant that I knew took advantage of that quality in me. He made me think that his desires were more important than the pain he caused me, that he was coming to me to fix him. For a long time, I believed him. If I decided that my mind and my body existed as an offering to the world, and I was just doing what I was born to do, right? Then why did I feel so broken? Why did I shake every time I saw something that reminded me of him? Why am I shaking now? <laughs> Post-traumatic stress disorder. I was a textbook case, and that terrified me. That meant admitting that I needed time to heal. I needed medication, I needed therapy. I did not factor mental illness into my master plan for changing the world. I built my reputation on helping others. So what was I going to do now that I had to ask other people for help? Did that mean they weren't going to love me anymore? Did this mean I wasn't my best self anymore? Would I belong? You see, the fear and the shame and the guilt would get so bad that I used to wonder if I was worth anything at all. I would think, God, if I just disappeared one day, would anyone notice? Would anyone care? But they would care. You see, the only thing that saved me every time was the realization that it would take me years to write letters to all the people who loved me. When I remembered all those beautiful, blissful memories, I realized I needed to stay here. I needed to fight. Because you see, when a professor told me that I was smart, it reminded me that I was cared for. When I received a text from a friend that told me I was strong and beautiful, it reminded me that people think about me. When my family called to make sure I'd eaten today, I remembered that I was loved. I didn't accept love because I didn't think I deserved it, but they proved to me that I was wrong. I deserved all the love I received and then some. But most importantly, I had to love myself, and that was what was going to get me to persevere. You see, I can't control everything. I had no control over my assault and I can't fix everything. But in order to fix anything at all, I had to fix myself and let myself heal. I had to let myself heal. And once I realized that I've already made an impact in the world, I'm here making my mark, I've made a mark for years. Everything that I do now is a bonus. And that kind of revelation just sinks over you and makes you feel so calm and peaceful because you realize the world's not going to end if I don't do everything. There are so many wonderful people out there to support me. You are all out here making a difference. The stars won't stop shining because I have to take a nap. <laughs> you see, you will mean something to someone because you exist. You do not exist for their pleasure.
together. You exist for yours. You don't have to prove to them what you're worth, and if they don't understand, it's their loss. You see, no matter what I do or don't do, the world will keep spinning, and I will be loved. My purpose and my existence in this world sustains itself on being able to give to people who respect me for it. My name is Angelique, and I think that means that I will always be enough.